emerging from its transport tube. The eagle spreads its wings into the fresh air of Bruny Island, showing the impressive might of a vulnerable creature. The bird is pointed into the wind, setting it free back to where it belongs. It's great when you, you think you've done a good thing saving something, but when you see the end result where it's, it's actually cured and, and healthy and flying off, that's, that's the icing on the cake. The wedge-tailed eagle has come a long way from this moment nearly two years ago. It was found seriously injured on a cherry farm. It was freezing cold in the middle of winter. We were total amateurs and like every time they said, you'll have to do it yourselves, we've got no one here, there's another rescue going on. So we sort of followed instructions. Me being a scaredy cat with the eagle in the car on the ferry, if he got loose, there would, uh, you would have heard the screams in Hobart. <laughs> At a refuge, wildlife rescuers began the long process of restoring the young bird of prey to its wild glory. Had a massive gaping wound in its chest, um, most likely from a fight with another eagle. It was in a bad way. We weren't sure if we were going to get it back out into the wild. Now that the wedge-tailed eagle has been released back into the wild, there's actually no way of tracking its journey. But rescuers say if it survives the first week, it stands a pretty good chance at survival. People often ask you, how does it feel? Well, it feels look, normal. I mean, that bird should be back there. Um, we've just intervened, helped him along his way. A story of survival of a single bird and an endangered species. Mahalia Carter, ABC News, Bruni Island.